that same day that I gave her the first bottle, she had terrible diarrhea, she had horrible spit up, she had gas, she was crying with pain. Nearly all infant formula on the U.S. market today contains DHA and ARA that are created by a company in Maryland called Martech Biosciences Corporation. While these are nutrients that appear naturally in breast milk, the DHA and ARA in formula are additives that are chemically extracted from algae and fungus that have never before been part of the human diet. She was like jet vomiting. It was like really violent vomiting. The really bad watery diarrhea where he would just fall up and cry when he was having the bowel movement. Reports started pouring into the FDA from parents and doctors and nurses who noticed that some infants were experiencing serious pain and discomfort when they were given formula with DHA and ARA. The most egregious aspect of this horror story for so many parents and children is that there is little, if any, scientific evidence that these materials aid in the ocular or cognitive development of infants. So in fact, this really amounts to a marketing gimmick. One way to do that is to convince mothers that their formula is now essentially equivalent to breast milk. I picked up the one with the DHA area because specifically the advertisement had said, you know, closest to breast milk. So of course, partially from the guilt of not giving the child breast milk. That was something that I welcomed when I saw in the can. They advertise, our formula is proven in independent clinical studies to enhance mental development. That claim was based on a single study with 19 infants in the follow-up. Countless other clinical trials have found no differences in brain and eye development. We actually got involved in this process when we learned that organic infant formula was including a synthetic form of DHA and ARA extracted with a petrochemical solvent called hexane. Solvents of that nature are explicitly banned in organic production. Federal law states that synthetic additives must be approved by the USDA National Organic Program before they legally may be added to foods bearing the organic label. Martex DHA and ARA have never been approved by the USDA. Some companies have made a conscious decision not to include these synthetic additives in their baby food products to protect the organic integrity of their foods. <laughs> Parents looking for wholesome organic foods for their children should check oh, ingredients God. lists to avoid these oils. It was kind of a trying time. It was hard to see my four month old baby just in so much pain. Since I stopped giving her that formula, she stopped vomiting. I went out that night and got him the formula that did not have the DHA and the ARA, and he never had the diarrhea issues again. Take action. Go to the Cornucopia website.